That's okay though. And once again, we shall walk back slowly to get healed. It's here in a few days. Nice! So I think this might be the room that we need to, uh... What is that noise? The slot's tongue? Okay. Ray's dead. This might have what we need for the, uh... Conjuring. The summoning. Conjuring. That's a movie. Get back to port for a cloak. Ooh! Cloaks look pretty good in this game. Okay, Tommy. We'll just take everything. Take it all. Hello. This room looks like a functional wizard lab. Oh. Laboratory notes. We'll take that. Ring of Meph. I see. Okay, okay. So do I put it in the summoning pool or do I put it on the altar? Let's read that one more time. Yeah, so it goes to the pool. It goes to the pool. So that's what we shall do. Or try. I have to have some gold here. Oh my goodness. I am. Yep, this is the PS4 version. Um... I like it. I like it. Not too bad. Could be better. It's not terrible. Not terrible. Put the tongue there, and then I guess we have to wear the ring, right? We'll wear the ring, and then we can cast... Hang on, let me save it first. Say cast, right? The casting of most acid arrow. 
So, uh, such a noob. I probably won't even figure this out. Use Melf's acid arrow once a day. How do I use the, uh, the item spell? <laughs> Hang on. Here we go. Boom. I figured it out. Who calls me? For what purpose am I summoned to this plane? You're here to serve. How do I talk to you? Uh, so another water elemental summoned forth to this plane. Tell me, human creature. What would you have me do? Um, I'm looking to free the enchanter. They will be performed and then I will absolve myself of your control. Um... Give me a magical item. We can have him give him a magical item. I cannot tell you what the item will be, but it will be powerful enough to suit you. And now I will take my leave from you. I can just spawn him again, right? I've got more tongues. So what does he give? What did he give me? He gave me a ring. Unidentified. Um, but we can identify it. Let's see if this was even worth it. Invisibility. Oh. Okay. Get another one back here. We'll keep the ring. We can we can price sell it. Not too bad. Or maybe we'll just keep it. Oh, what is this? I have to I have to rest probably. I'm tackling chapter 3 from a different direction today. Since last week I rage quitted on it. And then I went to play Mortal Kombat. Oh, what happened? Now she's not even coming. What is this? Hang on then. We'll just reload. Oh, that's weird. Unless I accidentally cast it on myself. Like, I can't even tell what's going on with this arrow sometimes. Doesn't matter. Do it again. There we go. Made a few tabs for jumping into a multiplayer server. I was thinking about maybe trying out multiplayer. Um... When I first started playing this, I didn't have plus at the time, so I was just playing single player. Um, are you on PS4 as well? And if you are, do you like the uh, the multiplayer in the game? Is it running well? Hello. I'm free! Freeze, Nax. Cough up my reward. Yes, I know that, but I want the snow globe. Uh, I had them when I came in, but the ward's magic stripped them from me when I was imprisoned. Damn. I should kill you for lying to me, Nax. Tell me how to get to the snow globe. My theory is correct, and so far my theories have been pretty sound. The key to finding the snow globe is twofold. First, you must know something of the history of Ciro himself and his famous duel with Nabacha the Mountain Witch. It was a summoning battle before a great crowd. Cyro was immensely proud of his victory in this contest. The second clue was in something I noticed at the instant I was imprisoned. Faintly audible collage of animal calls. Yes, it's okay. Now I'm on PC. I play on the Ravenloft server. I also want to have Hatsune Milku Project Diva on PS4. An anime rhythm game. Oh, that sounds nice and uh, obscure. I like the obs I love I love the weird obscure games, ones that no one else would play. Those are my kind of games. Guys, I played a game called Africa on, on uh, PS3 many, many years ago. It was a photography game where you were in Africa just taking pictures. I did it all for a gold trophy. Get to the point, Nax. Yes, so we already read about this already. It sounds like uh, very familiar. We have to go back to this room, I'm sure. But what do you tell us about the gongs? Let's read this. 
Dragons aren't fond of being summoned. The worm promptly swallowed Nabacha in one gulp and flew away, leaving Serial the victor. One gulp was taken from me. The ward was triggered. I distinctly heard a cat's meow, followed by a dog's bark. Okay, cat, dog, bear growled, dragon roar. Let's remember that one. Meow, bark, growl, roar. Okay. Thanks for the info. Guess what? I just forgot the uh, order just now. Like older games, see RPGs and turn-based. Okay. Um, I enjoy all different kinds of games. I like I like those. Um, I like those too. Still have to get through Divinity. I have both of them actually. The first one on Xbox One and the second one on PS4. There's just so much stuff to play. I guess you could say my interest lies in racing games love racing games and then RPGs I guess I guess I do like RPGs all right here are the gongs no these are not the gongs they're next door okay Okay, okay, okay. We're ready. So, um, yeah, guys, I, f I forgot the order, even after I said it three times. What is this? No, it was Meow first. That's a Puma. That's a bear. That's a dragon. I thought it said cat. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just start this again. Do this. Do that. Do that. Yes! The door has opened. Let's save it. I still play D2, Borderlands. Divinity is great. I heard about some of the previous Divinity games. I think there's one on Xbox 360, right? Okay. I will take the snow globe. I love fishing games. Guys, how would it be if I played Fish Sim on the channel? Is that popular on Twitch? Maybe we should find out that's popular on Twitch. Apparently, one of these fishing games are free to play, I found on the PS Store. I was like, whoa! Whoa now! A free game? Watch me play Fishing Sim. Make it entertaining. Larian's making Baldur's Gate 3. I heard! I heard. They're a great studio. They did a, a great job with uh, Divinity. Um, just the, the whole design of it and, and the, the voice acting and everything. I mean, it's just, it's a great game. Um, I really need to finish it because I, I didn't do it. I don't, I haven't done the game justice yet. Divinity 2 is on Xbox. Um, they made, there's this one game series that I played on PS3 or 360. I'm trying to think of the name of it. But the game was really fun. Um, they are rough, but they are fun. Yeah, yeah, that is true, too. I'm trying to think of the name of it. But you could play as different classes, right? And each character had its own kind of, um, like, style to the way you could play through it. And that sounds like a lot of games, I know, I'm sure. But, um, can't remember the name of it, though. Sacred! Sacred 2. That was the game that I played. And... The people that made Sacred, I think, they made one of the Divinity games on 360 or PS3, right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Um, but they, but that other game popped up for me because I played Sacred 2. So I was, I was thinking at the time that maybe um, they were like related or something. Ooh, new armor. We'll just take everything in here. But Sacred 2, that was a fun game, okay? That game was nuts. I played as this skeleton guy. I remember playing as, as him. And I love the one-liners he would uh, say as he would just killing everybody. It wasn't exactly like a CRPG. It was more like... What would it be, I guess? More of like an action RPG, maybe? 
not Diablo like, but just different. But that game was fun. I don't know. Does anybody know that game that I'm talking about? Sacred Two. He might have ported it, but Laren did all the Divinity games. I don't know who made Sacred. Yeah, I think this was before Laren got involved. But awesome, we got the snow globe, guys. This is what we needed to. This was the whole point of what we just did. What took us, like, what? Like, two hours? Get out of here. Boop. So let's, um, look at the armor. And then we can sell stuff. And make our money. Keep the snow globe. I want to get rid of this because it looks like this is... I, I don't need it. It won't stack with what I've got. We can just go. I wasted a lot of money on some of this stuff, guys. I'm ashamed. <laughs> Um, you know what, though? We'll, we will put our ring back on here, though. We'll do. And we'll keep this ring, just in case. Ascarian! Sounds familiar. Great game, though. Great game. It's dated. More than likely, if I like it, more than likely, other people probably don't like it. But hey, no, that just fits with uh, with just how I am. What is this? With all these notes, we need to organize our inventory. This armor of thorns, it's light armor too, so we don't even, I'm gonna wear it. Oh, that. And I messed up on the dragon sphere, I know. I messed up. Get rid of this. I'm really worried about this dragon when I face him. I might not be strong enough. I probably played wrong. I'll piss me off so much. Oh. Let's go see this girl about the snow globe. Um, she's in the, uh, bar, right? Divine Divinity. Okay. And it was made by Laren. Okay, how about that? Wow. I guess, like most people, uh, they didn't even pop up on my radar until... Um, all the awards and everything, all the press they got for Original Sin. Lillian? I have your snow globe, Lillian. Welcome back, Julio. Yes, I have it right here, girl. Let me see it. I must examine it. Take it. Two worlds. I would actually play that. I would play that. And, and the, the crappy first one, too. Snow globe next door for me. Well done, Julio. Never fear, I have merely transitioned the snow globe to its pedestal in my room here at the inn using the command word. I have done this before, Nax could not have stolen it from me. But it seems that I was a little tipsy that night, the wine was somewhat stronger than I anticipated. Now, as I promised, I will tell you how to find the word of power. Excuse me. The key, as you may have already guessed, is the snow globe itself. I've researched the snow globe in great detail, and I've discovered something rather interesting. Within the snow globe, or the glass globe, there exists an entire miniature world. A real world with real living creatures. Oh my god! How is that possible? It boggles the mind, doesn't it? Think of... Oh, thank you for the follow, my man! Dinner time. Alright, well, we'll see you around, smoking dank. Spellcrafting was awesome in two worlds. I'm gonna have to check that out. I got my 360. I know I have that and the PS3. They're all in boxes in my... I have it with me. Crazy, I just carry that stuff around. I'm like, I never know when I want to 
play my Xbox 360 again. Bending the realities of time and space, constricting them into something the size of a fist. And then encasing it in an indestructible sphere of glass. The ancient texts and documents I have researched are accurate. Someone has hidden one of the words of power inside the miniature world. How do, can I get the word out? Based on my research, you actually have to go inside the snow globe and retrieve it. Doesn't seem to be any other way to get the word out. Okay, get me in. Snow globe is on my is in the pedestal in my room. Second door on the left. If you're determined to go inside, all you have to do is touch the globe and we'll get yourself in. If you want to go after the word of power, be my guest. Oh, okay. Well, wonderful. So now we have to go inside the snow globe. Whoa. Or in, and, and since I read ahead on the website, we have to face a dragon. I heard. But we'll find out. I am using a guide because I felt like I just... I had to. Uh-oh, that's right. Where'd she say her room was at? On the second floor. Here I am. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We were here before. This is the pedestal. Alright, alright, alright. Let's save. My body is ready. Saving game. Rotate the globe? What does that mean? Some group of dwarves are being attacked by dryads. Hope never rotate it again. And a group of dwarves are buzzling, busily butchering dryads beneath a warm sun. Rotate the globe. Snow falling, and a small group of dwarves are being attacked by dryads. Rotate it again. And a ragtag group of dwarves. Oh, interesting. Hang on real quick. I just want to read this up. I want to know if there's a difference. I need to... I need, I need to be prepared, okay? Okay, yep. So we have the option to talk to different factions here. And they also say that this can be exploited for experience points as well. Every time you leave the snow globe and you rotate it, everything respawns. That's interesting. Where's the dragon, right? We'll get to that. Don't you worry. Okay. Uh. So in this one, the dwarf, the dwarves are hostile to us. Interesting. But it doesn't even matter though, um, grind for experience because look how much experience we got. We got three from that dwarf. Dry down, it's your turn to die. No, I won't say. I want to ask you some questions.
Yeah, how can this world exist inside a snow globe? But I do not understand. I know nothing of the snow globe. Oh my goodness, she doesn't know that she lives inside a snow globe, guys. Um, have you always been at war with the dwarves? I went dwarf and dryad stood side by side. We were slaves to a terrible master of monstrous creature of pure evil. Dwarf and nymph alike served this being, and together we dared stand against it. Memories are clouded and unclear, a trembling reflection of muddled pond. Perhaps they are not even real, for it seems as if our war with the dwarves has raged since the dawn of existence. Okay, I will go now. Um, everyone is anxious to see this dragon, I know, I know. Let's get to this dragon. What is this? Unless we have to solve the conflict. But we might need an item though. I'm just reading it off here and there. Reading what I'm reading. Pod. Oh, they all keep on respawning behind him. Oh my god. Tommy. Tommy is so anxious. We've got ourselves yet another hot. So they all just keep on respawning. So this is... Is this what they mean by this, then? We just keep on killing them for endless experience? Yup. That's interesting. But we're really not even getting that much experience. Is there any way for us to leave this battle? Retreat, Tommy. Yeah, we're not going to waste our time with that. They're going to keep on respawning. Where is the cave entrance? Or did we walk past that? In the center, I think. Go back. We'll make our way around. Not worth it, though, sadly. What is? I forget. Did I say something? We will rest. Cover our health. Oh, XP grind? Yeah, yeah. That is true. You don't even get enough XP to really be for it to be worth it. All right, so we'll go this way and let's save. Saving is important. Is this the cave? I think this is the cave, guys. Dun dun dun! Let's see what we got? We got a journal. Move this book over here. You're just overwhelmed with reading material in this game. Um, monster. Well, 
frost giant princess. I don't even know who that is. I can't even remember. What happened to the other girl's diary? Here it is. We'll keep this on us. Yep, here's the dragon, guys. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Intriguing. The Master. Visitors are a great curiosity in my world. I am Julio Davis, and I am searching for the words of power. That is something which I am very familiar. There's a time when I would have snuffed out your existence for daring to even mention the word in my presence, but centuries of solitude have cooled the passions of my icy blood. I can tell you this word of power if you wish, though its magic is far greater than anything your trivial intellect will be able to comprehend. Yes, tell me about the word. Of ancient matter, magic, fashioned by the critter race that ruled the north before the time of manlings. Even I was not yet hatched when they vanished from the world. I was able to harness the magic of a word, using it to shape this realm, to give eternal life to my slaves, and to make my own body immortal. Where is the word now? The magic of the word sustains this realm in my own existence. It is never far from me. More than this, I will not tell you. The word is mine, and you shall not have it. Oh, come on, dude. Is there anything I can offer in exchange for the word? Can you offer immortality? The word sustains me. It is life itself. There is nothing you can offer in trade, mortal. Damn. So there is a amulet that we can get from the dwarves and the uh, dryads that will help us against this fight, but we do have to fight the dragon. The amulet can make the battle a little bit easier. That's interesting. Um, let's try fighting it. Let's try fighting it. Take that. Um, I guess I will take that. That. And then this on me. We'll see if this works. We'll see. Good luck. Thank you, my man. Yes, yes, let's do this. Time to die. Oh, from the get, Tommy just already ran off. He already feared him. So clarity might actually be useful. I might want to get another bottle of clarity just for Tommy. Jesus. So, and he knocks down too. That's not good. Will I be able to get up before he kills me? No. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we got him down to about half health, right? We got him down to injured. That wasn't too bad. But I think we could have prepared a little bit. I think there is a way to win the fight. Okay. Who sells barkskin potion around here? It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Well, he doesn't sell everything that we need. <coughs> I think our mage girl might have it, though.
stuck with her. So she has clarity. She doesn't have bark skin though. Who sells bark skin? Really wish I wouldn't. No. This might suck. Drink our potions. Right, we'll do it again. safe once we're all buffed up we'll just ride over and over and over again like this I'm the one other thing I could think about trying maybe is swapping out Tommy for a different companion you see now I'm not even hitting him I got two crits in the last battle. And then now he just feared me. Alright. So this didn't work out that well. Um, let me actually try swapping out for a different companion. Maybe I might have a Dalian with me. The, 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 the other fighter dude. And just have him wail on the dragon maybe. We'll try that. We'll try some different strats. But I mean, it's all, it's all like, randomized, you know? So that time I didn't even get any hits on the dragon, barely. Try having two warriors with us. I bid you welcome. I am okay. <laughs> yes, follow me. I will buy um, potion him as well. Greeting. Alright, let's go back. I do have the courage. Take it from me, at least. Maybe that might help me dodge. I don't know. And we'll take aid. And we'll take. How much stuff can I stack? Let's try it. Let's save it like this, maybe. We'll try. I just have to keep in mind, the top three saves are before the dragon fight.
Let's try it again. Great. Clarity's gonna run off. I, okay, so I only have one. So at this point, he can fear me. And then he does this. Keep the... Um, he's focused on me at the moment. Okay, he's feared me. He's coming after me. <laughs> Power! I really hope he doesn't, like, want to kill me at half health. I just need the fear to run off so I can heal, please. Here's another problem. Um, lack of clarity. I have to buy a whole lot of clarity potions, huh? Or I have to get something that I'm immune to fear. I think that worked out well. Immunity to fear. Because that is the problem. Um, I don't have enough gold to buy it, though. It does sell clarity. Okay. What we'll do is that we'll buy multiple potions. I'll get Dalen again. I think we might have the best shot if I have him with me. Oh, I didn't need to go and see her. Why did I do that? Let's give this another shot. Uh, full stream. I'll give that to him too. Yes. Eight. And I will do that. Okay. I think this is where I want to leave off next time. I'll just oversave that. We reload. We'll just start from there. Great. Let's see if I can get behind him. One of us gets behind him. And we'll have to keep an eye on the thing. Okay, 
keep an eye on when our clarity runs out. Okay, so it's about to run out, so we're gonna do the potion again. Boom. Badly wounded now. Let me heal up. Damn, knock me down. Let's do the potion again. Great. I do the clarity on him. Okay. Then do the potion on him. Potion, 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 potion. All the time I'm just healing away. He's badly wounded. We're getting there. Um... Is about to run off again. It already did, actually. It's almost dead. He sucks if I if I didn't bring enough potions with me. potions. He's dead. There we go. Whew. And we got a trophy from it too. Out of curiosity, what was that? He, defa he defeated the powerful without weakening it. We did it without the amulet. That's the thing that I, I um, said. We could have used the amulet to uh, make the battle easier. And we got ourselves a silver trophy. Woo! Does this guy drop anything? Now that's a good challenging boss fight right there, you know? Where it's like, I see where I, you know, mess up and I can, I can, you know, buff up and figure out where to improve. But, like, instant one-hit kill kind of shit, it's like... I, you, you can't figure that out. Oh, so this is the amulet that we could have had, I guess. We have to take it and get it fixed. The one-hit kill stuff in this game doesn't make sense to me. But, like, something like that, that difficulty, perfectly fine. Like, I get that. I can roll with that. That's just my opinion. That's just how I am. That was a good battle. I like that. Word of power, here we go. Oh, I am Julio Davis. I serve the Lord's Alliance. Um, uh, should we say yes? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is good. Tell me who you are. Okay, girl. Okay. 
Here I thought that would have been like another crazy battle. It would be like this game to throw another battle at you. While I have no potions left or anything. Instant death. What the heck is this? Got ourselves an evil dwarf. Alright. Um, so we can actually go back to... Um, and heal up. Sell all this stuff. I have to uh, get more potions, most definitely. A ruby? I don't think we need a ruby for crafting. Uh, what is this? Shimmering Blade. The skill is pretty cool, but... Um... I think it's much better to keep the shield. I think it does make sense. Play a fighter that has a sword and, and a shield rather than just doing dual wielding. But. Oh, we would get 4,000 gold by selling that too. Um, our AC would drop quite a lot if we went to do that. But how much in uh, damage would we... We'd probably be delivering a lot more damage if we, uh... uh would be taking less AC. Like, I just don't know if that's, um, that would even be viable, you know? If the increase in damage would be better than lesser defense. We'll just hold it on us, I guess. Let's also buy some potions as well. We need a lot of potions. We went through all of it. Buy at least. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll swap Galen out for um, Tommy. I think we return the word of power to Aaron. Yes, I have one of the words of power. This is good news. When the gods know we've had precious little in our backroom. With Erebeth at their head, the Luskan forces are winning victory after victory over the Lord's Alliance troops. And all the while, Margot and his cult continue their search for the words of power. At least there is one here they do not have. My loyal network of scouts would stave the word away to cast it ever away. For safekeeping is your Lord Nash's scribe. Yes, we finally leveled up. Neverwinter and Lord Nasher himself. Please accept this reward of 2000 gold pieces as a token of our gratitude. Can I persuade him? Things don't come cheap, boy. Yes. Thank you, my dude. I need more money. We got an extra 750 gold pieces. Properly equipped 
Indeed. If my sources are correct, there are still several more words of power yet to be found. I hope your success at locating the words can... I think you should know about a female lizard man I ran into. She said her name was Adrenaline, and she seemed to want to help. Normally, Neverwinter counts the lizard men amongst her enemies, but your news is not completely unexpected. I have received reports of a lizard creature and her followers doing battle with... They are Algonians. This must be that Hadrian you mentioned. It's the Elder Scrolls reference. consider this new information carefully. But this is not your concern. You must focus on... I don't know D&D, but I do know Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I wish you luck in your mission. Return to me once you have... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's get uh, Tommy back. Yeah. And then let's level up. What we can do. Woo. Um. I've just been leveling into fighter the whole time. Prestige class. Can't level into a prestige class. Barbarian. We'll just keep on doing fighter. Boop. Let's do uh, discipline. Let's do parry. Parry is good. And then do tumble. And we still have one more left. Guess we'll do heal. Okay. No feats, no nothing. So now we have to go another. Oh, a little less than 2,000. We didn't change our attributes though. I was looking at hit points are one up now. Twenty seven. Okie dokie. So the next area that we need to go to is not going to be to the north. It's going to be it's going to be the other place that we haven't been to yet. You've been there, right? So I guess it might be this way. They've even been here though. Fort is doomed. He fell asleep for a second. I think I'll see you soon tomorrow. All right, man. No problem, Behemoth. Thanks for tuning in today, bro. I appreciate it. Have yourself a good night, man. I'll be here tomorrow. We gotta see you then. Now in the fort area. Dragon in this area is going to be the last place that we go to. Hopefully, we can get one more level before going to see the dragon. I don't care about that bag. Ugh. Grizzly bear. Did I save yet? Feeling I didn't save. Feeling I didn't save. That's a lot of bears up in here. Oh. 
Bye, Tommy. Thanks for playing. Back to get Tommy. Because we need our buddy. Oh, rest and heal up. Yawning myself. 